Hey everybody, so today we are going to go and dig deep into my vet truck. Um, I've been out on the road for a couple months now. I've got it all organized the way that I like it. And I think it's time for you guys to see what the inside of a vet box and a vet truck looks like, at least the way that I like it. variety of different vet trucks out there but mine is a 2013 GMC Sierra 2500 HD we'll start with the outside here so it's a four-door crew cab long bed four-wheel drive Duramax diesel I got my North Carolina Cattlemen's Association license plate always got to be repping NC State because I spent lots of time and money there. All right, so we'll start with the inside. So, inside here. Inside, I've got a 12 volt to 120 volt converter. In here, I've got my ophthalmoscope base charging, and then I have a label printer all my drug labels and then this is unique to my truck but I've got a little RAM computer mount and then in the center here I have a towel for spills I have a variety of pens sharpies um, I have this dandy little withdrawal handbook um, my notebook and sticky notes sticky notes are man's best friend I've got my phone mount up here because I am directionally challenged and I can't find my way around. So I always have to use GPS. I've got my control drug log here. In the back, I've got my drone. I've got some ear tags that I'm gonna be putting on some cows here in the next week. I've got my dental floats. I've got a random box of stuff. I've got a seat cover that I need to put on that seat. I already got it on this seat. A uh, little trash can. And then down here under the seat, I have a stand for holding up horses' heads while I'm floating the teeth. And then I've got a set of hand floats if for whatever reason my power floats stop working. And um, I've got some other extraction tools in there to pull teeth and things like that. Passenger side. I've got a giant bag of sunflower seeds, which is a necessity. Not much going on here, but this computer stand kind of moves around if anyone wants to sit here. And then over here, my refrigerator is not working right now, so I've got this giant Yeti cooler, which, you know, I don't mean to, to brag on Yeti or anything, but these things are awesome. I could put ice in here and this thing keeps all of my vaccines and other refrigerated meds cold for the entire day. I've got some emergency vehicle stuff here. I've got some dewormer uh, gloves, some dewormer applicators, and then sunscreen because sunscreen. All right, now for the fun part. So we'll get into the box here. Um, this is a America box. The truck is 2013, so the box is dated back to that year, uh, but it still works great. It's got little lights up here that I can turn on and off. Uh, you know, they're not the best things, but when it's pitch black outside, it really helps. So the way that I have it organized, I've got my all my needles, syringes, vacutainer tubes, vacutainer needles, and then back here, I've got bigger syringes. I've got my 60 mil syringes back here. I've got a couple sterile sample cups, um, sterile sample cups, 
sterile water for injections and reconstituting drugs. And then, moving to this side, this is where I keep all of my drugs. So this is kind of my eye meds section. Right here are my sedation, so pitomidine, xylazine. Um, I've got some medications up here, some steroids, some anti-inflammatories, um, all my antibiotics, um, some test kits, antifungal cream, and then back here I've got a variety of IV medications like CMPK, um, propylene glycol, I've got some spectrum masks, some intramammary, so everything basically all of my anti-inflammatories, antibiotics, pain meds, sedation, all of that stuff lives in this drawer. Then down here, this is the most important tool on this entire truck. Just kidding. I have had to use it once though to lasso a goat. It's worked great. So I love this thing. Um, I have a bunch of towels. Um, all of my controlled drugs are locked and bolted down. Um, I have tubes here for the nasogastric tubes, esophageal tubes for smaller animals. Um, I've got some one liter bags of fluid, my stethoscope, some bug spray. I've got my dehorners, pelvimeter, fluid pump, gloves, extra gloves. And if you pull this out more, this is where I keep all my cattle supplies. So I have ear tags, California mastitis test, ear taggers, um, I have a necropsy knives in here, it's all of my cow supplies, and then in this box I've just got a bunch of halters and ropes and different restraint things. Then over here I got my sharps, three buckets, stainless steel buckets. I've got my alcohol, hippoclins, and saline. I have my serum amyloid A test kit, bug spray, bug spray, plus sunscreen. I told you I like sunscreen. Um, this is my ophthalmoscope, glucometer, some rectal sleeves. This kit is my foot care kit slash the speculum for dentistries. And then back here, I've got my OB kit with chains and handles. Everything I need in there to manage, you know, pulling calves or replacing a uterine prolapse, anything like that. I've got some chlorhexidine here, alcohol, peroxide, fly spray, um, and then some saline back there. All of this neatly goes back in. And then on the left wing is where I keep my boots and an extra set of coveralls. And then in this disaster of a, it's an organized disaster. You can't see it, but there's a clear little divider in there. So I know where everything is, but I've got some gauze. I've got my cold surgery pack, some catheters. This is where I keep my surgery gloves, um, absorbable and non-absorbable suture, extra surgery gloves, and things of that nature. I've got a couple of sterile surgery packs in there, and then various. So this is kind of the, the clean section. This is where I would pull things for re repairing lacerations and things like that. Here's my refrigerator, uh, which currently is not working. I've got my lube back here, Psyllium, and then inside of the refrigerator, just so it's not wasted space, I've got um, a big tub of electrolytes. And then on this wing, this is all of my unopened products. So this is where I keep things like antibiotics, uh, sprays, dewormers, um, you know, various things that I would leave with an owner, not things that I would use and then take with me. So I've got phenylbutazone powder, uh, various salves, some, some co roll cotton, things like that. 
Um, against your guard, everything that I keep in here. And this is my extra dewormer stash. Down here is my goat box. So I've got some small ruminant dewormer, sheep and goat dewormer, some pyrethrin powder, um, different type of dewormer, and then my deworming applicator here. Um, I've got spare disinfectant and um, you know some other cold packs and stuff. And then I've got fluids on fluids on fluids. I think I have like 22 liters of fluids on the truck um, in that green box here. I've got IV lines, extension sets, and then lots and lots of fluid underneath them. That way I'm ready to pump any sort of amount of IV fluids in our large animals. And this box here is my wound slash wrap box. So I have a bunch of vet wrap, sterile telfa pads, my Epsom salts for wrapping abscesses, some elasticon. So this is kind of my, my wound care box. If I have to ever wrap up a leg or anything like that, I can just take this whole thing with me and I don't have to keep running back and forth to the truck. And that, that is it. That's kind of all you need. And there's some other you know, specialty things that you would use throughout different appointments, but I kind of like to keep the basics on here. This is where I keep my calf jack. And then I have all my other calf jack supplies back there. So that's basically it. I'm actually gonna go out and see a call right now. So it's a good spot to end this video, but let me know if you have any questions. If anybody else has a vet truck similar, if you have the same box, you know, I'd love to see how anyone else organizes it. See if you have any ideas for me of how I can be better organized. Let me know what you think.